guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back at one of my favorite parking lot locations because guess what? We have the OG for you. This is it, the original hot hatch. This is a redesigned 2022 Volkswagen GTI. But before we get into the Mark 8, eighth generation of this German icon, let's talk about what the heck is going on here. The compact performance segment has seen a lot of competitors over the years. Some have come, some have stayed, and some have gone away. This GTI is the original hot hatch from the 1980s, and guess what? Now in its eighth generation, total redesign still has that familiar look. When you look at this vehicle, you know it's a GTI. There are astronauts that are on the space station that, believe it or not, when they were testing this vehicle in Germany, they knew before anybody else because you could see from that far of a distance the shape. It's not a revolution, it's an evolution of that hatchback design that goes back all the way to, like I said, the first GTI 1980s. Now, compact performance segment has had some other players. We won't mention the ones that have gone away because they, that's just a big fail. But there are some new players. Of course, we got Hyundai with the Veloster N, their four-door sedan, the Elantra N, but then there's another sports injected vehicle that came out during the 1980s that was a compact car. What is that? Yes, the Honda SI, sports injected SI. So what I wanna find out is, Volkswagen has done the business here, coming out with a new design, but is it enough? Did they go too far away from what made the GTI so special? And is this the better compact sport performance car to buy over the, region, the generation, that revolution of the Civic, the 11th gen Civic SI. Which one should you put your hard money or earn money on? Let's go ahead, let's dive in our 2022 GTI and find out. Right off the bat, like I was saying, the overall shape screams GTI in a very good way, and I'm definitely loving this color. The metal flake in it is more so on this car than on a bass boat, and that's a lot of metal flake. But starting at the front of the business, you'll see our all new headlight design, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn singles, and we got those projector beam LED headlights. I do like the way the daytime running lamp actually runs into the center grill area. Gives it that unique style, separates it from the Mark 7 and the Mark 7.5 to really showcase the differences. Now, as we drop down, you do have some flat black, and I wouldn't normally zonk this for not being a functional vent, but the cool thing is, look at how Volkswagen actually mounted multiple LED fog lamps in each of the lower corners. Very smart styling design, something so unique, and when you see them illuminated at night, you know this is a GTI. Nobody else is doing that, not even the Civic Si, which here in the United States, Civic Si, you can't even get fog lamps. You gotta go live in Canada and drink some maple syrup and then you can get your fog lamps. I do like the way they went flat black, especially on the lower extension here. No gloss black, what to speak of. And then as we come across that front grill area, the grill has really shrunk. You'll notice that just a little bit of functionality on the bottom portion here, everything else is gonna be LED lit. You got your GTI badge, so much history going back to the 1980s. And another thing you'll notice with the GTI you'll always have this red stripe. That's another specific cue, styling cue, that when you see the red letters, you see the red stripe, you know that that's a GTI. That's the hotter version of the regular Golf hatchback. Volkswagen badge, the people's car looking clean, working your way down. We got full functionality. I love the way they styled all of the openings here. And of course, we got that large intercooler because we got turbocharged intercooled power, that flat black, from each corner, follows along the bottom, gives us that nice scooping up of air. I wish they would have extended this just a little bit more to get more air into that intercooler. But other than that, the styling is right on the money. If you compare it to the new Civic Si, the word of the day with Honda is they went cleaner on the style, and it looks very close to the cleanliness of the German styling on this GTI. Now, when you get up onto the low-slung hood, it's the little touches. I like the way they notch out that little U-shape here so it meets nicely with the Volkswagen badge. And then all you got are the two rises, go right towards the windshield, and then the other two go right towards the A-pillars. Clean, specific, 
German styling. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire stuff. Now, we have all new wheels, and I'm glad they didn't use too much machined aluminum. You just have a little bit of machined aluminum on each of the openings. The rest is gonna be painted gloss black, 19 inch wheel, and you're looking at 235 on the width and a nice low 35 series sidewall. You'll see the larger rotors. Remember, if you, if you uh, were paying attention to your Volkswagen GTI videos here on Rady's Rides, you would know that with the 7.5, they gave us the Golf R brakes, larger brake rotors. I like the red calipers. It would have been nice to have GTI just kind of painted on those calipers, but that's one thing that you're not gonna get with the Civic SI are special painted calipers or anything like that, but they do change up the brake pad compound. And if I was gonna be in a beauty show and I was gonna choose which wheel is more beautiful, I personally like the wheel off the Civic SI, but, and this is a big but, I do like the style that they went with with the, uh, the Mark 8 here, really clean and very GTI specific. Now, of course, we have that limited slip diff in the center, because this is front wheel drive. You want all wheel drive, you're gonna have to go with the Golf R, but with the GTI front wheel drive, we got that limited slip diff, help us get the power to the great news is, we got more power, but we'll talk about that in a second. Let's continue down the side. Of course, just like up front, we have a little bit of red on the sides, the GTI badge, nothing too gaudy. It doesn't look like it came from a JC Whitney catalog or from AutoZone. Color match on the mirror caps with your turn signals. I like the flat black side sill extension. Let you know that, hey, this thing means business. They tested it in a wind tunnel and that's all for the extra aero. Of course, you're gonna get that traditional flat roof design. We do have an oversized sunroof. I can't call it a panoramic because it doesn't go all the way back, but it is oversized. My Zonk, I wish they would have just painted all this black up top, especially with a black shark fin antenna. That kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. See my thumb, it's actually sore. I was bit by a snake the other day. Same thing with that. It sticks out like a sore thumb and it makes sense to me. But the rest of the clean body lines, you can see everything lines up nicely. Swinging around back, you're gonna get a low roof spoiler, very unique to the GTI and very similar to GTIs of the past. It's got that nice kick up, give us that airflow. I just wish more companies would get rid of this and tuck it under here because that would clean up the whole rear end, especially on the GTI because unlike other hatchbacks, there's no handle. There's not like that, you know, station wagon style handle. You want to know where the handle is? It's right here. They actually make the badge the handle. So that's a nice touch. And guess what? It just says GTI. That's all it needs to say. It doesn't need to say golf. Doesn't need any more badging. Nothing. Love the way they did the taillights. All LED. Very, very slick. They, Volkswagen does a great job on their taillights. And then going all the way down, getting low, we're talking about the stainless steel exhaust tips. Nice round opening on both sides and a very, very unique, interesting rear diffuser area to help channel that air out the back of the vehicle. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk numbers on our new GTI. Hey guys, we got the hood popped. It does have a prop rod, but the Civic SI also has a prop rod. Another thing is we have more horsepower on the Volkswagen GTI for 2022. On paper, the Civic SI actually has less horsepower than the previous generation. Sort of mind blowing. Now you are gonna get a large plastic cover, not the ugliest, but not the sexiest. I wish they would have brought some red, maybe the GTI badge or something. And if you notice, it's made like made by Nerf. So you can actually turn this into a Nerf football if you don't want it there. The turbo is located right against the firewall, deep down in there with the heat shielding. But what are we talking about? I promised you more horsepower, you're gonna get it. Two liter inline four turbocharged engine, now putting out 241 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. So if you compare that to last year, the Mark 7.5, that had 228 horsepower. So now we have 241 horsepower. If we're comparing it to the Civic Si, the Civic Si on paper for 2022 has 200 horsepower. On our particular GTI, we got the seven-speed DSG. That's a dual clutch transmission, a DCT transmission, seven-speed. You can also get a six-speed manual. On the Civic Si, you only have a six-speed manual available and that's it. Zero to 60 on our particular seven-speed DSG equipped GTI is five seconds flat, 
Quarter mile is going to go by 13 and a half seconds at 116 miles an hour. Top speed is 155 miles an hour. You got great MPGs, 24 in the city, 32 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs 3,154 pounds. So like I said, staying very consistent with that two liter inline four turbocharged setup, but then you have a choice with different transmissions where you don't get that with the SI. But while we go ahead, let's fire up our GTI and hear what it sounds like. Right, guys we're inside this 2022 mark 8 gti i know you're at that point where you're like joe i gotta know how much the price is because i'm looking at the gti i'm looking at this guy i'm curious now before i give you the price remember the msrp for the civic si did go up a little bit more it's around twenty-eight thousand dollars. i hope you're sitting down and i hope that you're not eating right now because your stomach might get a little upset. MSRP for this SE trim is right around $38,000 with the seven speed DSG. $10,000 price difference or so. Let's see what you get for the money when you go German GTI to the door panels. Clean style, simple, but very, very contemporary. I like the soft touch material up top. Then there's gonna be this gray material that's got almost like the same design as the grill on the front, the lower grill portion. Looks clean. The rest of it, no gloss black, so that's good news. You're not gonna get fingerprints. You got a nice soft armrest. And then you have a felt lined door pocket, which is the perfect size for a large glass jar of German pickles. Get the sourest pickles because you can fit them in there and they're not gonna get scratched. Nobody's gonna get their pickle scratched. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, you do have the optional Harman Kardon sound system, more of that soft touch material. It's hard to pick up in the daylight, but there is ambient lighting along the edge of the bottom of the dash and the top of the trim, and that's that same trim from the door panel. I haven't been in a GTI for many years, so this isn't really bothering me, but I know that some of the hardcore fans are not loving this interior. Now, you get to the infotainment side of things, this is where the arm wrestling and the tongue wrestling especially gets really aggressive. We have a 10 inch infotainment system screen that's devoid of all switches, knobs, and actual physical buttons. So it is a touch screen of course, but everything is done basically through the screen. Now it does use hand gesture operation if you wanna have that feature on, but of course we have navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, this little red square, that's your home button. So you hit that and that's gonna bring up all your icons. Let me show you some of the cool features though. Ambient lights, lots of ambient lighting in here. You could easily change the color. Go to orange, they call it infinity. You could do eternity, desire. This sounds like perfume and cologne. Euphoria, vitality. You could keep going, you could do custom, you could shut it off or have an automatic setup. So really cool in it. And we'll show you even on the gauges, it actually changes the colors and all the ambient lighting. So that really is a nice way to personalize the interior of your GTI. We could go into vehicle. There's our GTI, not a beautiful metallic reddish, but still looking good. This is where you could shut off that start stop feature. You can get your tire pressure and it's really easy. You just click it and it tells you exactly what you, what you got. You could go into your different exterior lighting to make all those adjustments all through the screen. The challenge is it's gonna be hard doing this while you're driving and navigating through this 10 inch screen. Here's all your range information since refuel. Love the clear graphics though and the clear fonts. We could go back in and then of course we go into setup and settings. So we click on that and here's easily where you could scroll through a cornucopia of information all by the touch of your finger. And then the rest of it, 
is real simple. But let me show you real quick. I'm going to go into ambient lighting here. Let me hit vitality and go back. Now everything is that vitality color. You have easy different pages. You could get into your Sirius XM. There's your map and everything. And then there's all your other information. You even have your legal notices in case somebody uh, subpoenas you for court or something. But real nice to swipe. And then you could go right back into ambient. Let's, uh, I'm feeling a little bit desire. Ooh nice blue really really done right now you do have some little switches here that you could actually tap and adjust your temperature or to go into actual different temperature you could hit your climate button so you hit climate that brings up all your ac controls heated seats ventilated seats dual climate control the problem is is that you got to tap or slide there's no actual button for that and if somebody's using the radio controls then they're going to have a problem with that also your modes you got your different modes, custom, comfort, eco. We're gonna leave it in sport. That's where it belongs. Continuing our journey, we have wireless charging and enough room for two Twinkies in this ambient lit area. And there's USB-Cs. You got your uh, Slim Jim holder here. This little nub, not the sexiest looking shifter, but this is gonna control that seven speed DSG, also known as a DCT transmission. You got your uh, start stop button two cup holders watch this This is kind of cool say you have a, a smaller drink you hit this button boom and now allows you to put the smaller drink bottle very easily and then you can just open it back up you have your Volkswagen key fob nice on the buttons we got 12 volt I wish it wasn't so far from the windshield because if you're gonna run a radar detector then that means you're gonna have the cord right in your way Nice armrest soft with the red stitching. You can slide it forward. You can slide it back. You can open it up and easily put, I would say, just one baseball in there. So if you have your Jose Canseco ball that was signed right before he got busted for roids, you can keep that in there. And then the seats. Not that plaid, beautiful style, but they did do gray with the dark material, the piping. It is super soft, and it's nicely bolstered. The problem is, is for the passenger, you got manual seat controls for the bottom and then electric for the back portion, which is kind of weird. The good news is I got full electric assist on the driver's side. I'll show you that when you come over here. And then there's that oversized sunroof, just large enough to be considered oversized. But why don't you come over here? I got a flat bottom steering wheel with your name and the GTI name on it. Come on over. Hi guys, here we are on the business side of things. Pedal box. They do a great job over a Volkswagen with the pedal box. I love the large dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle, all aluminum. On the SI, you do get aluminum pedals, just not an aluminum dead pedal, which is kind of weird, but I do like the setup on here. Seat controls, not only do you have your power seat controls with the lower lumbar, but we got three memory seat settings. If you're comparing that to the Civic SI, the SI has manual seats and they're cloth on both sides up front. So something to think about there. Plenty of headroom, plenty of headroom. And then the steering wheel, flat bottom. I love the way it's got the GTI name, a little bit of that red that goes with the GTI. What I am gonna zonk are all of these buttons and where they're placed, especially this guy right here. Heated steering wheel, button is too close to the edge. So when you're actually driving, you sometimes accidentally bump it. And then the way you know is your hands start sweating. There are paddles on the back of the steering wheel because we have the seven speed DCT to go up and down it. And then you're gonna get a 10.1 inch digital display. Now I like the display. What I am gonna zonk is all the gloss black around it. Way too much gloss black all over the place. But when it comes to the gauges, I do like the large tack in the center, the GTI badge. We got our auxiliary gauges on the left. We have a G meter on the right. And look, look at when I change the colors, it changes all of the colors on the dash as well. I'm going Euphoria, that traditional red setup. You do have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel and a head-up display. Those are things like the head-up display you're not going to get in a Civic Si, but the Civic Si for 2022 does have a Bose sound system where we have the optional Harman Kardon in this particular vehicle. But while we get in the back seat and see how it stacks up, against that four-door sedan. All right, guys, back seat time, and we have a lot of room in here, even though this is a compact hatchback, six feet tall, and they do some magic work over at Volkswagen for giving me more headroom than what I have up front. 
Now what I did was I left the seat basically where I had it to show what a six foot tall person would be in the front and how much leg room that you have. But we moved up the passenger seat just so that we could showcase what's going on here. Now you do have these smaller pockets up top. And what's great about these pockets is that we could actually put a Game Boy here and an Atari handheld in the other pocket. Down below, you got probably enough room for two bags of Cheetos. Maybe you get those real spicy ones that I see people eating all the time. And then rear AC vents, nicely placed with the AC control where you can adjust the temperature. Plus we have heated seats in the back, which is great too. Three way heated seats, which is a good setup. USB-C's down below so you can keep your devices nice and charged, especially the uh, Atari handheld. And then I like the way they did the material. I know a lot of people are upset there's no plaid, but this, I'm liking the seats. They're comfy, also supportive, and then you're gonna get this massive armrest. Two cup holders, and look at this, Charmin Soft. That's like a quadruple ply sheet of toilet paper. Don't wipe your butt on here, but you could easily put your arm nice and comfy. But while we go ahead, let's see what makes this hatchback so special. Let's check out the cargo area in our GTI. Right, guys, time to get in that cargo area. Real simple, use that as your handle. Lifts right up and this is what makes a GTI a GTI and why it's called a hot hatch. This is the hatch, this is the hot amount of space. This is where it's gonna outshine the Civic Si. But I know you're a person that likes to use your abacus and have the hard numbers, so here's what you got. You're looking at almost 15 cubic, excuse me, almost 20 cubic feet of space with the seat up. Fold the seats down, you're looking at almost 35 cubic feet of space. What I love is how low the cargo floor is. You lift this up, you do get a spare. Not many compact performance cars are giving you a spare anymore. The one zonk is to get the seats down, there's no handle. You kind of have to squeeze your arm in here and then push. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Squeeze, push, you're gonna get a pretty close to almost flat loading floor. So go do the Costco runs in your compact car. You don't have to be ashamed because you don't have enough space. You got more room than some SUVs that we tested here on Rady's Rides. But you know what? We got the keys, we got the passion, we got the desire. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this GTI. All right, guys, here we are in our GTI. Once again, I got manual shifting with the paddles in that sport mode setting. Everything ready to rock and roll. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> I'm telling you, it pulls nicely all the way to red line. Brakes feel good. Here we go. Yeah. The grip is wonderful from the front end. Look at that, yeah. This thing is a hot hatch, 100%. Wow. They made some nice changes. They really did. I did like the Mark 7 and the Mark 7.5, but from a driving standpoint, this thing is a ton of fun, ton of, ton of fun. And so hooked up, wow. You can really feel what the front of the car is doing, what the back of the car is doing, wow. And the downshifts, so quick, so precise. It's interesting though, because I would love to do a back-to-back -back review with the SI, because even though the Civic SI has less horsepower, it's gonna be interesting to see how it performs between the two. All right, guys, this time I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode to where the transmission is gonna shift by itself. I do still have it in sport and everything else the same, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see how it goes. On throttle, yeah! Traction control does a great job of minimizing wheel spin. On the brakes. Here we go. Nice. The grip, even with a little 
little bit of rain coming down is phenomenal. I tell you, for a front wheel drive car, this thing has a lot of stick, a lot of stick. Getting to the infotainment system is of course well within reach, but the big bummer is, like I said, no physical knobs, no physical buttons, and there's a lot of gloss black around it. Everything else is super clean in here. I like the seats. I think the bolstering is great. It would be nice to have that old school plaid texture in here, material to really make that full connection, but visibility is wonderful. Feedback is, is really good. Is it as good as the Civic Si? I think you're getting better feedback from the front end with the Civic Si, and I think the chassis is better too, but what they've done with this Mark 8, I, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it more than the first time I drove it, and definitely my preference is putting it in manual shift mode. Using those paddles, you got a nice large gear indicator in the center, drops down nicely. Look at that. Just so smooth. And yes, the sounds are being pumped in to the cabin here, but they did a good job without making it feel fake, too fake at least. Um, and it's better than nothing, I guess. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Are you down with the sounds that you're hearing on the interior of this GTI or would you prefer just nothing? I don't know, you let me know. Or of course, a lot of exhaust from the factory they could have done. But another thing, I, I, I guess because I haven't had a GTI of my own, the interior finishes in here don't bother me. I think that the dash is nice, the other, uh, pieces of material play well and just like I said the amount of gloss black on the on the dash areas is a little little heavy for me all right guys one more time for you definitely one more time for me I love driving these low horsepower cars on throttle here we go yeah <laughs> nice The, in the rain is phenomenal. Look at this. Just stay off the painted stripes. That paint gets slick in the rain. <sighs> like I was saying, you know, there's just something about a car that you could drive every day. Doesn't, you don't need 800 horsepower to put a smile on your face. And it just, it feels good. It allows you to have that versatility. You got the four doors, plenty of room for your kids, your friends, all the stuff in the back. Go do an autocross event, go do a track day. Plus with the GTI over the Civic Si, you have the ability that if you don't know how to drive a manual or don't want to drive a manual transmission, you can get it with this slick shifting DSG. But we're going to get back. Hopefully it's going to stop raining. We're going to get back and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split right, second. guys. It's been a great day out here in the Florida sun. Definitely want to thank everybody at Volkswagen for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Volkswagen done enough? to separate this from the Mark 7 and 7.5 of the previous generation of the GTI, and have they done enough to make this be your everyday hot hatch of a car to purchase, drive, and enjoy over a Civic Si? Let me know in the comments section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen, the best videographer in the whole universe that has been voted on by the same astronauts that have seen these Gulf GTIs up in space, that she is the best in the universe. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.